Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilology, the study of civil engineering. Today our topic of discussion is quantity of concrete. So in this video we are going to calculate the quantity of concrete in a circular column. By quantity mean the quantity of cement, sand and coarse aggregate are crushed and we will calculate these values in kgs and in cubic meters by using simple and fast and easy method so in the previous video we calculated the quantity for rectangular or square column the link of which is given in the description so for a calculation of concrete the ratio we are going to use is the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 which is equivalent of m15 grade concrete having strength of 15 mega pascals so uh, let's start our today's topic Let's assume that we have a circular column and the height of a column is 3 meters. Okay. And the diameter of column is 0 0.4 meters for which we are going to calculate the quantities. This is the cross section of the column having diameter 0 0.4 meters. And the first step to calculate the quantities uh, will be to find the area and the volume of this column and we already know that the area of a circular object is equal to pi r square as the column is circular in shape its area will be equal to pi r square where r is the radius okay this will be equal to 3.14 as the value of pi is 3.14 and the radius will be half of that of diameter which will be 0 0.2 squares okay so the area will comes out to be 0 0.126 square meters and the volume will be equal to area multiply by height as the area is 0 0.126 and the height over here is 3 meters so by multiplying area and height we will get the volume of this column which is 0 0.378 now it is very important to note that this is the wet volume of the concrete that is the volume of concrete after mixing but before mixing when we uh, mix the concrete the ingredients are in dry form so the dry volume will be equal to 1.54 times 0 0.378 it's mean that dry volume is more as compared to wet volume and dry volume is 1.54 times 0 0.378 what is 1.54 it is actually dry or shrinkage constant as I told you before that dry volume is more as compared to wet volume we usually mix the ingredients in dry condition and when concrete get hard it shrinks to cater this shrinkage we use value between 1.54 to 1.57 so over here we are using the value 1.54 as a dry constant to get the dry volume of the concrete okay which is equal to 0 0.528 cubic meters so this is the volume for which we are going to calculate the quantities of cement sand and coarse aggregate now let's assume the ratio is 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 for this mixed design then we will sum up this ratio which will be equal to 7 that is 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7 the formula we are going to calculate the quantities of cement sand and coarse aggregate is ratio of ingredient ingredient could be cement sand or coarse aggregate times dry volume as the dry volume is 0 0.582 as you can see over here which we have calculated in the previous slide so to calculate the quantity of cement we will be using one as you can see over here the part of cement is this in this ratio is one and two is for sand and the for crush or coarse aggregate it is 4 times is that of cement so for cement we will multiply 1 times 0 0.582 0 0.582 is the dry volume divided by sum of ratio which is 7 as you can see over here so the quantity of cement will be equal to 0 0.083 cubic meters so now to calculate the number of bags we will divide this value by 0 0.035 
0.035 is the volume of one cement bag in cubic meters and it is equal to 1.25 cubic feet if you are calculating in uh, if you are using fps system okay so over here we are using mks system and in meters it is 0.035 which is the cement of uh, sorry volume of one cement bag and it will comes out to be 0.37 bags or you can say 2f two and half bags okay 2.5 or 3 bags will be considered so to calculate the quantity of sand we will multiply 2 which is the quantity or you can say the part of sand in this ratio is 2 and multiply it by 0.5 at 2 which is the dry volume and divided by sum of ratio it comes out to be 0.166 cubic meters similarly for calculation of crush or coarse aggregate we will multiply 4 4 is the as you can see over here in this ratio 4 is the part of coarse aggregate in this mixed design and multiplying it by the dry volume and then dividing it by sum of ratio it comes out to be 0.332 cubic meters so we have calculated the quantities of cement sand and coarse aggregate by volume in cubic meters so now to calculate these values in kgs uh, as we have calculated in cubic meters these were the values so to calculate these values into kgs you will be needing the density of cement density of sand and density of crush which you are using and the mixing of the concrete for that column okay so the cement of uh, sorry the density of cement is 1440 kg per cubic meters and the density of sand is ranging between 1.5 uh, sorry 1520 to 1680 kg per cubic meter similarly the uh, density of coarse aggregate is 1200 to 2100 kg per cubic meters so now to convert this value into kgs we will be needing densities as you can see over here if you multiply 0.083 with the density of cement you will get in value in kgs that is 119.52 kgs as cubic meter will be cancelled out with cubic meter and you will only be left with kg so this value will be equal to 119.52 kg now if you know the density of sand which you are using for this mixed design let's suppose it is 1500 kg per cubic meter so by multiplying this volume by the density of sand you will get the value in kg so 249 kg will be required for this column similarly for crush or coarse aggregate multiplying this wave uh, volume with the non density of the coarse aggregate which is we are assuming 1500 kg per cubic meter so you will get the value in kgs which is 498 kg so the cement required will be 119.52 in kgs and sand will be 249 kg and uh, coarse aggregate or crush will be equal to 498 kgs okay if you don't know the densities of uh, the coarse aggregate and sand only remember the density of cement okay now if you uh, as i told you before that we assume the ratio is one ratio two ratio four and the grade is m15 one is for cement two is for sand and four is crush that is coarse aggregate four means four times as that of cement now if you know the value of cement in kgs which is equal to 119.52 multiplying it by 1 so the value will be equal to sorry here is the mistake that is 199.52 kg okay the value of cement will be equal to 199.52 kgs similarly as the sand is two times as that of cement simply multiply this value by 2 you will get the value of sand in kgs and as that we already know that crush is 4 times as that of cement is this in this mixed design so crush will be equal to 4 times as that of cement so th this is the simple method if you don't know the densities of the ingredients that you are using in the 
concrete mix so that's all for today in the end you are requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today